You have to literally say, I don't care what you think. Look, look at this. Dude, you blast black women do much fine new content. This funky chick don't even know how to spell. Don't even know how to use punctuation correctly. How is it bashing black women when black women bash themselves? I, don't, I didn't see not one of you funky hoes actually coming to the aid of Tyrese. I ain't see one of you funky hoes holding each other accountable. Listen, you wouldn't have to hold, worry about me holding y'all accountable if y'all held yourselves accountable. Travis was getting his head fucking bopped in with a Patron bottle when y'all thought that that was cool. Fuck you. Fuck you. You. That's this right here. Whoever you are, fuck you. Fuck you until you get your own house in order. You out here having all of the kids. You out here tearing up the community. You out here being the enemy to black men. I'm not one of the dudes that's going to make you feel better about yourself. Fuck you. Fuck everything that you stand for until you get your own life together. Get your own holes together, and then you ain't got to worry about what it is that I do. And let's be honest. Let's be honest. I hold everybody accountable. See, this same funky hoe wasn't here when I was holding white people accountable last week. All of the white people was feeling some type of way. They was feeling butthurt. Anton called us poor. Anton called us broke. Anton said that we ain't have no money. Anton said we ain't have no power. Anton said that our women hated us. You ain't have nothing to say then. Now you want to come out in full force. When I put the cape on, then I put the cape on and you feeling some type of way. Fuck you. You ain't special. What, you thought that you were special because you had some pussy? You thought that you were special? You thought that you was unique? You thought that you couldn't get this work too? You didn't think that you was an equal opportunity? Listen, this hoe had to subscribe to type that comment. She had to subscribe to type that comment. You ain't said it unless you subscribed. That's how I know you really here for this. You really, you hurt. I'm going to use the same thing that they say. Who hurt you? Who hurt you? Who hurt you? That's what women like to say. Eh, listen, let me get my guy Freezy up here. Freezy, I'm going to just drop it in the chat. Who hurt you? You? There's no reason why that man should have ever been on trial in the first place. There's no reason why that man should have ever been on trial in the first place. Ever. I'm going to drop the link in the chat for those that want to cam up. I'm going to give special privileges to the women. Because please help me to understand where I'm wrong. Unreal. Who hurt you? You? Ain't none of y'all have Tyrese's back. Not one of y'all funky hoes. Not one. All of y'all was against him. None of y'all actually had his back. Nobody was actually going to hold him down. Ain't nobody advocate for Travis to be able to come up and do what it is that he do. Oh, man. I seen women that said that this dude should have actually been locked up. I said, what in the fuck is going on? Freezy, what, what, what we doing in here? Hey, AD, listen. I know you say he should have, he should have fucked that hoe up, but them type of chicks is different, AD. You think he should have put his hands on her? I think that any man, <laughs> shout out to the lead attorney, my guy. You've been doing a phenomenal job breaking this down. Let me say something. If it wasn't for the great greatness of the lead attorney, we wouldn't even be able to understand this to the extent that we have as it relates to the law is concerned. I think that the lead attorney is doing great things. I believe in putting your hand on women. I do. But not just for the sake of putting your hand on women. I don't believe that any human being should put their hands on any human being. I believe that you should be able to put your hands on women in order to defend yourself. This hoe was trying to kill this man. She hit this nigga in the head with a patrol bottle, bro. You can, you can literally maim this nigga. 
I don't, why, why shouldn't we be able to, to defend ourselves against some stuff like that? Well, I'm not saying you shouldn't defend yourself. I'm just saying like a situation like that. Obviously, this bitch, she was- Oh, y'all, this is my cake. Yeah. This is my Captain Saber whole cake <laughs> that I'm wearing for the night. Obviously, she was the type of woman that she was going to go through any lengths to destroy this dude, right? So I'm just thinking about how it would have played out if he would have put his hands on. I think the right decision would have been for him to just call the call the police and just. Well, it depends on the circumstance. I think he should have. Dog, I'm different, bro. I'm different. Like I am. I am. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm the type of guy that can walk away. I can walk away from anything that anybody says. As long as I don't actually feel threatened. Because you can generally tell if somebody is actually feeling threatened. Like, I don't believe in just beating up somebody for the sake of beating them up. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's say, for example, something happened and you had to, you know, like somebody even was like threatening to hit you. Like, I don't believe in just going off and beating them up or shooting them or nothing like that. Because the one thing that we taught um, inside of even our gun classes, right, is that yeah. That is the absolute last resort. Fight, flight, like get away. We're taught to have a level of responsibility when it comes to having guns and stuff like that, right? So when it comes to defending yourself, you got to be very, very careful because you can hit somebody in the face and kill them. They can fall, hit their head, anything like that. So I'm very careful about that. But if you actually feeling threatened, it's some dudes that's actually dealing with some real shit. Like I've heard guys... Tell me, even some homies, I've heard some homies back in the day tell me a chick got a knife out. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, what you going to do? Well, now that I'm thinking about it, you you right in a sense, because he, he has surveillance in the front. I just seen the video, right? He mm -hmm. has surveillance in front of his house, and it shows her getting physical. So you right. He could have called a man, and, you know, he, he think, has Think about it like this, Breezy. This is the problem, though. We've normalized hostility towards men so much mm -hmm. that we're always talking about how it is that we need to run away or de-escalate with a woman. We don't think like that when it comes to men. Your natural instinct a lot of times is, man, you should have busted him in the head the minute that he ran up on you. But if you sense a threat with a woman, your natural instinct is to be trained to do what? To avoid the fight grab her, let her maim you. She can scratch her fucking eyes out. She can do whatever she wants to you. But the minute that she, that's how we train. We're trained to be dealing with this hostility and so many guys is used to it. I, I bet you, I would be willing to bet, willing to bet any amount of money that this is not the first time he's dealt with this level of hostility from her. Oh, of course not. She so if it's his norm, because that's what most of our norm is, that's what most black men norm is, then why would he move any differently? Why would he do anything differently than what it is that he did? 